Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so as usual we're gonna start with the dixie we are looking on the weekly time frame and as you see guys <laughs> been a nice bullish week for the dollar broke previous high we have a higher close you know that uh, i'm a dollar bull so this make me feels good we have a break a higher low another break with a higher high a higher low again and we seems to be looking for a potential continuation maybe toward 95 that would be lovely so that was the weekly checking the daily we saw also last week that we had a break above the um, monthly or two we had a break above the 200 moving average and a close above this previous high so uh, the dollar looking good for more further upside from here with these sequence of higher highs and higher lows and uh, that is uh, what I'm uh, looking for now it's gonna be potentially a, a, a short trading week because of uh, Easter so I wish all of you a happy Easter those of you who celebrate that um, checking gold we see that uh, we start establishing a lower high but still no real um, momentum so we had this break to the downside we were looking for a potential retest and then con further continuation the um, lower high came a little bit um, shorter than expected that was expected up here but if we go down to the lower time frame we see the whole week last week for gold we had this little range only so that's typical gold you get strong moves and it goes like two three weeks maybe a month sideways before it gives you the next move and right now it is uh, pretty um, uh, critical actually because this could go <laughs> further uh, further up to retest this area before the re uh, continuation down or it could just break this continue lower so I will probably play it like this wait for this uh, range play this range keep playing this range until it is broken out we have uh, this little bigger range as well but uh, the the whole last week as I said been inside this range so wait for gold to break out first before take any decision I mean if it breaks above this then next target gonna be monthly pivot point or the top of the channel and if it breaks down which is um, also a possibility since the major trend is to the downside we look for break retest continuation and if we check the daily time frame you see why i'm saying that we might uh, see it going down so uh, if we go candle to candle here we saw a nice push to the upside then slow momentum slow momentum and then it start shifting to the downside the beers start taking control so again if they break lower then a retest back down to monthly s1 is a potential scenario oil holding uh, at around monthly pivot point we know that we um, talked about selling oil here at the top and now it is already start finding some support at around the monthly pivot point so weekly time frame we know that we've been in a very strong bullish trend and it should potentially continue a little bit of a further downside correction uh, daily time frame on the other hand it been choppy as f last week as you see here so uh, it's been in a range going to the lower time frame we see now we have a nice double bottom scenario here uh, the market broke back above monthly pivot point broke back above this um, key support area the weekly s1 last week been a very very nice support level here so we have a very nice double bottom but still it been inside this range for the whole week and for further upside if it's gonna the major trend gonna continue we need to see a break above this neckline so if that would be the case and we get a break above this neckline then we are going for maybe one more leg to the upside but as first i will uh, consider potentially that this market will give us one more bounce to the downside at least uh, maybe a continuation inside this uh, range for now because as far as there is no break 
potential one more leg to the downside is what we may get on oil uh, euro usd bearish so um, now a strong signal that we might test this area down here after a break below the 200 moving average break below a key swing low here and uh, break below monthly s2 so it's been moving strongly to the downside the question is uh, where to short if you're gonna do so we need to give it a little bit of um, time to correct uh, in my opinion could be this area up here so you wait for a little bit of a further correction before the next leg to the downside um, I think at least 50% of this uh, last leg here could be something to watch or 618 even better because the 618 of this leg happened to be at the previous swing low that got broken so i am bearish on euro right now but look for a higher retest first before the continuation to happen sterling same scenario here we um we've been looking uh, for the sterling to give us a correction it is uh, did start that correction nicely after breaking out of this range then a retest and then i'm looking for further downside if they fail to go back above uh, this area so for our time frame where the price is testing right now actually is a good level for potential seller to enter the market because we are retesting this um, key area uh, from below now and if we go further left i'm not sure if we can see it i, I think we need to go on the daily we see that we are retesting these levels as well so again guys uh, i like the level uh, short term uh, we could play with that or if it correct even higher that would be even better but if we get a fib retracement we see the 38.2 retested right now at key structure 618 could also work uh, because if we look at the 618 and previous high here and these structures also could be something to watch but all in all i'm looking for um, a further downside on uh, this market for more a couple of weeks or something like that uh, usd Jappy finally reached my target so uh, if you're watching my previous overviews you uh, hearing me ranting about the market uh, objective to reach uh, 10980 or maybe 110 uh, before a bigger correction and now this leg is pretty extended we will see what will happen next week but uh, the, the, the Jap is still very weak and uh, retesting right now a key structure area looking left many retests of on this level so this might give you a little bit of a short-term correction maybe we will see because newly we broke this uh, level here now if next week we get a quick move back below that area i'm expecting a correction to start happening but be careful this is a counter trend idea so the main idea would be to keep looking to go long i mean if we break above 110 there is nothing on the way until we reach 112 so we take it one step at a time uh, but i'm really not interested to keep going long when we have such a extended move i would love to see a little bit of a correction maybe 38 percent fibonacci 50 percent correction would be something also but um as for now we are not seeing that um if we start having a little bit of a sequence of lower highs and lower lows that could be a correction and then 10780 10790 could be the first area to look for a potential uh, continuation to the upside usd chief also um, extended the um, move here we know that we've been watching this move for a while uh, still in a bullish trend but uh, retesting this uh, key area now we have a break above we check the weekly time frame we do have a close above this previous high and on the weekly there is still some room to retest these levels here so potential further upside here the question is if you want to go long uh, from this area or if you want to wait for a dip i would love to see a correction back toward this broken structure here before a correction um this uh, is interesting here but i mean that's not of a big correction yeah uh, and then a continuation so the better would be uh, for me i would wait for a correction toward this and then further upside because this market is a uh, definitely a bullish market 
Now USD CAD also testing a key area. We had the break to the downside lately and then a co co uh, correction back up. So we were expecting potential retest of this area and then further downside. We will see if this is it or if uh, the dollar is now strong and it will keep pushing to the upside. So what we should be doing next week, guys, Keep an eye on this um, on the four hour time frame. The 200 moving average been acting like a charm as a dynamic resistance and support after uh, the break start acting a dynamic resistance here, as you see many, many times. So as far as the market is failing to break above it, I will see that as a bearish continuation to the downside. If they manage to break and hold above it, then we will look for further upside. <laughs> Now, last week you had one candle, that is not enough. We need to see a break, a strong break, a retest that hold above the 200, then we look for continuation. So for now, what we should be expecting from this market that we had a break, we had a nice correction, double topped, and then maybe um, a little bit further downside. So that is what I'm watching as first for next week. But again, if they break above 200 moving average and above previous high and hold above it, as I told you, we could look then for further upside because all in all, you are looking at a bearish market with a lower lows and lower highs on weekly daily time frame yeah we had a nice push higher but the key structure is still this previous swing high this is not broken so this trend is still to be considered bearish even on the daily Aussie USD start to have a trouble here and um, we've got uh, on the weekly we we knew that after this uh, bearish engulfing candle something will happen and we might start seeing a correction also on the weekly we have a head and shoulder formation the neckline is still not broken though so that is for the weekly we start losing momentum we, we've got our first lower high daily time frame um, this strong push here and a failure to break higher again and another lower low yet another lower high and another lower low showing potential continuation but for further downside they need to break below this this is a key swing here that's why you found support at this level last week we've got a morning star formation with a bullish candle after that on friday confirming a potential reversal pattern could be a short term reversal for a correction and then further downside. Yes, that is possible. But as far as this support is holding, it is a buy here until it is uh, uh, broken. So checking the four hour. Well, if we look at this um, chart, we see that the bears are in control. And the main reason I'm saying that you see this leg, the momentum is very strong for the downside. This leg, same. Uh, this leg is also same so even though you had short-term bounce strong bounce to the upside the bears are still in control until they reach this level now we will see what will happen here if this was a break and then a correction and then a further downside or not but I think next week at least we're gonna see a retest toward this area so if you want to short I would say wait at least for a retest of that level then look for uh, your signals that you used to uh, to use to 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 um, enter a trade and new zealand usd also uh, found some support at a uh, key area we knew that this level gonna act as a potential support so this uh, structure since it got broken back here never got retested until now and right now the price uh, did find a little bit of a support but checking the chart on one candle at a time you see that the bearish momentum is still very strong the bullish momentum is only corrections you see this here clearly uh, there is no um, huge uh, move to the upside it is a typical correction move and then a uh, strong push to the downside so the bears are still uh, in control right now we've um, we've never had such um, a big momentum during this whole move to the upside um, big bearish momentum we've had these three days here and that was all but here now things start changing but all in all you reach its support major level you should expect at least profit taking or a little bit of a correction from this area so short term it could be time for a little bit of a correction back toward this broken structure before 
one more leg to the downside as for now we established a little bit of a trend so lower low lower high lower low another lower high and another lower low and it might continue doing these lower highs so again short term maybe a bounce back up yeah i mean you see this whole leg it's very very extended and it could need some correction uh, maybe back toward these areas uh, on the on this chart and if we uh, measure this leg on uh, the daily with a fib retracement we see that uh, the the area between the 50 and the 618 is a pretty good uh, level to watch um, as a potential kill zone for sellers so that will the uh, coincidence with this previous swing low and this uh, little swing here uh, on the daily time frame so if we go to the four hour we see that we wait for this area to be tested then start looking for your bearish evidence and potentially further downside so a short term maybe early next week potential correction to the upside keep in mind this market is still above the 200 moving average on the daily as well so that was it for this week guys happy easter and uh, see you next sunday bye bye